Hey everybody, Kyle Mike here from MLive.com, joined by Nate Atkins. Uh, moving on to the defense with our Lions positional reviews from 2016. We'll, we'll start up front, Nate. That group had uh, lofty expectations going into the year, and they, they really underwhelmed, um, both in terms of the, of the pass rush, the, pass, the, the, the rush defense down the stretch. Why do you think they failed to live up to the billing? Yeah, I mean, for a while, it's it's hard to figure out because for a while there, you thought it was just Ziggy Anson not being right. But even when he got right at the end of the year, it felt like he was the only pass rush they really had to work with. So I just think certain guys, I mean, Haloti Nada, I think, kind of faded a little down the stretch. Maybe he's getting a little older. Devin Taylor, I think, just did not live up to his hype as a, as a pass rusher. I'm not sure why, because I thought he played pretty well in run defense. But they just didn't have enough guys making plays when Ziggy was a little banged up. I think we took for granted how really good he was last year with 14 and a half sacks. You know, they were the, the fourth worst team at creating stuffed plays behind the line. So they just didn't have enough flashing up front this year. Yeah, I agree. I mean, this this group uh, had solid players, I think, across the board almost. I mean, Haloti Nada is, is getting old, but he's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, they had you know, uh, several defensive tackles that could ro rotate in and out. They had, I mean, uh, Ezekiel Ansa for... Uh, you know, uh, for as few sacks as he had, he was okay, especially down the stretch. He was mm -hmm. a little disruptive, but they just didn't, they liked playmakers. And, and Kerry Hyder had a great start to the season, um, first five or six games there, yeah. racking up the sacks. But after that, he kind of faded, and without him, this defensive front was, was uh, it lacked playmaking ability. They lacked pass rushers. Uh, you know, Dev, you mentioned Devin Taylor. He was, for me, the one of the biggest disappointments, even yeah. if not the biggest disappointment uh, of anybody on the team. I mean, mm -hmm. this guy was, he had seven and a half sacks in 2015. He moved into a full-time role uh, in 2016 and, and he just didn't do anything. Yeah. You know, I mean, he was, he pro football focus ranked him 108th as an edge rusher. That's out of 109 qualifying players. He was second worst mm -hmm. in the league. Now he's a free agent. I think they move on from him. They have a lot of free yeah. agents across the, the line. I think they'll have to look to replenish their playmaking ability in the draft or in free agency because uh, that was certainly one of the biggest uh, reasons, one of the biggest things that held back their defense. Yeah, and maybe some of us were expecting Ashawn Robinson to come on a little quicker this year when they drafted him in the second round. I thought he was always a developmental guy in some ways, but they needed that kind of that kind of push up there. So. That was that was a nice start for them to kind of address the run defense. Now I think they've got a really low pass rush going forward, and I agree with you. I think Devin Taylor is a guy that just did not do enough in a contract mm -hmm. year to come back with a new regime. So I think that's the position they really look at. They could also look at at Haloti Nada's spot because he's getting older, and even even at his best, he's not a disruptive player. And I think they need a little bit more of that up front. That's what we got for today. Certainly, I think that the pass rush and the defensive line will be a huge priority for the Lions in the draft and then in free agency. Mm -hmm. For Nate, I'm Kyle. I'm live. Keep it right here.